mean, that was that was that would hurt. You don't want to be down there. Holy cow! So Conley with a quick pin, the 31st ranked wrestler in the country, continues his streak. And move on to another ranked wrestler for West Virginia, Dennis Robin, a redshirt junior out of New York, had a pair of top 20 wins at the Southeast Open last weekend. Facing Kyle Snyder, a freshman from Akron, who had a two wins the Clarion Open last weekend. These two guys to come in with a tsunami of confidence. Well, confidence is the name of the game, and I think in everything, right? You got to believe that uh, if you don't believe you can win, you're not going to. I just, you know, believing it doesn't make it necessarily is going to make sure that it happens, but if you don't, you don't got a shot. Right. Right? And so, that, you know, it's like when they. Um, uh, the classic line from Herm Edwards when we play to win the game, right? I mean, th that's what you're doing. If you don't, yeah. no matter who you're matched up with, if you don't think that you can do that, if you can execute these things, it gets me in the match, it does these things, I can I can score some points or I can minimize their points and I put myself in a position to win. Carries over to life, too. No matter what it is you're trying to accomplish, if you don't go in with a mentality of thinking you're going to do it, it's yep. not going to happen. You got no shot. Two minutes, guys. Speaking of no shot, we've yet to see one from either of these two. Well done, sir. Well done there. That was that was that was much better than the Beauty and the Beast stuff. I'll give you that. Or you liked it more than than the Beauty and the Beast yes, stuff. There much, may be a portion much. of our audience that I, liked the other. I, yeah, good, like good. The, we could put that to a vote. I mean, there's a way to vote on that. So social media is for. Right. Snyder trying to take a shot on Robin. Well, he had him up in the air. Robin did a nice job of getting the wizard, and even while he was in the air, and ends up with no takedown whatsoever. So nice counter on his part. Because Snyder had a pretty decent shot. It goes to show you, you can play defense really no matter how bad things look. And for Robin, you know, you're up in the air. There's not a whole lot of leverage you've got there. Still playing defense. No, you, you're trying to hook something and, and try to maintain some position, and hopefully he puts you down in a, in a position where you can <clears throat> where you can defend yourself from. Two minutes down in this first period between Kyle Snyder and Dennis Robin. Robin shoots for the leg. Got that was the a leg. long way. And he's that's got two. both legs. That's two now. He's going to have to work up. He's going to call for stalling, which has always been the challenge in that particular situation. He's already got the takedown points, looking for more. A challenge brick thrown by Kent State. I don't know why they're challenging. We'll see. Or what it is that they are challenging. Right. It's... Can't be the takedown. It might be the count. Maybe like a like that he's locked on both legs, like locking hands. Maybe I don't. Hard to tell. So the officials will take a look at this and bring us to a halt late in the first period of this 184 match between Dennis Robin and Kyle Snyder. The review is regarding something in the takedown from Dennis Robin. So Robin takes this shot, right? It's a long shot because he goes to the back leg, right? He tries to get around the corner. Does a nice job getting it up in the air. And th and so there's the two point or the, the takedown. So that's a three point takedown. The question is, what? I don't know what the question is. I don't know what he was. Did he think that he locked hands there somewhere? I, di I didn't see that. Um, did he feel like he was not off the ankle fast enough? His weight's forward on his hands. It's not like you have to make his knee touch or anything like that. I mean, that's a. As long as some part of that body is down. I think if nothing else, it's a good place to stop the match and you take this time and recenter your wrestler. You can kind of refocus your wrestler and get his mind. Well, I mean, you only get so many of these else. challenges and, the, and maybe this is one of the places he wants to do that. And uh, I mean, the match, the team score. This is what they're looking at. So. So he does a high crotch, turns it a single leg. Bumps the back leg, doesn't really. There's, there's where he, that's where he signals that there's a takedown that's occurred. Now he's starting to count. And in your mind, that's a good takedown. Yeah, I don't, I don't, they can't be reviewing the takedown. I don't know if they're reviewing the, the, uh, the, 
the ankle because you have to move up off of his off of his legs off of his ankles. The challenge in that situation is you've gotten the takedown because he's forward. You're on his legs and he's still sort of fighting you, but you have to move up. And, he, and if, you, if they're smart, they try to trap you back there if they can. And the question is whether or not um, replay he's off the other leg or not. Replay apparently is the universal language of sports as the men's soccer match also under review. Uh, now the trick is we need to find a third box with an NFL game that's also in review and stick it up there. Well, <laughs> there's almost always something under review in the NFL game, right? <laughs> Again, WVU and Marshall tied at two in the Sunbelt Conference Championship for men's soccer. That's in Huntington right now. Just while so here's both my, those events were reviewed here's at the my same thought, time. Here's my thought related to reviews. If it takes this long, then the, call, it, then oh, the, 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 the initial, initial call calls, should stand, yeah. right? Because right now we're having two guys standing around and there's like a three mile an hour wind that's coming through here. Uh, seriously, there is, right? I mean, it's it's yeah. it's, it's breezy down it's here. It's not the building today. It's not very warm, and so they're standing around getting cold. Jasmine keeping stats for us said that to me a long time ago. She's been on that so very early from a very early standpoint. Whatever it was, um, the call stands. Was, the call stands. Yeah, that call we made. That yes, stick with right? that. Oh, he's, he's 30 trying seconds to do the left. same thing that Waters did, but he's got his he's got his leg. Tried to force it two times, right? He tried to force the second roll, which wasn't the best idea in the world. He's got to try to drive forward if he can. If he can drive forward, he'll be all right. Robin, not with a lot of leverage, though he has the position. He's got 10 seconds left in the first period. So. He, that's the part where I'm saying that he he got a little bit trapped because he tried to force that that roll through a couple of times. He runs out of time. Is it possible he realized he only had about 30 seconds of the period? So let's try something. If it works, then fine. If it doesn't, then we're going to get saved by the bell anyway. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. That's not really the best strategy in the world to try. To, I mean. If, I, if I'm down or whatever and I'm doing something like that, but when you're rolling somebody back in the back and you're up three nothing, you just you work a little while to get a takedown and now you're uh, in a position where you might be able to score. Obviously you want to score, there's a reversal. Now he's gonna go right back for that half and this time he's gonna try to roll him through again. So that's where he wanted to be the last time, but he wasn't there the first time and then when he tried to roll him through the second time, he got his foot trapped. I think the second time Snyder had a better chance to roll back out of it, but wasn't completely able to do so. And so Robin found himself in a little bit better position the second time around. Well, I, I tell you what, I, I'm really enjoying the, the top stuff, the, the aggressiveness on top and the, the, the turns and using and riding that half a little bit more. You know, we haven't seen that for quite a little while, and I'm enjoying that stuff. Near four points for Dennis Robin. Yeah. He's up 9-0 already. That's all it takes, right? How is he better than last year? Well, I think like everything else, you know, again, so that we were just watching that in there. So the difference between potentially giving up an escape or a reversal in that position before, that might, that might happen, right? So yeah. now it's either 2-2 or 2-1, which would have been in the old scoring system. Um, this so it's, a, it's closing the score up, and plus you don't end up on top. So now we're working a little bit better. There's a two count at least. Robin, we got, got three. Looking to become another Mountaineer to come away with a pin. Right. I, so I love the aggressiveness on top. And also, I, I'm thinking if you're the coaching staff and and you're. At Kent, you're gonna be like, man, we're getting killed on the bottom. That is not, that's not a fun way to spend the match. Uh, you know, down there, somebody beating on you and grinding on you. I just, I just like the the work on top. I mean, they're actually really working for falls and 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 doing to try to get near falls. And there's another roll through again, and this is probably gonna end up being the technical fall right here. Either the pin of the technical fall, it's a there near it fall for Dennis Robin that draws the technical fall 16 0 win. So another bonus point win for West Virginia, and it comes from Dennis Robin at the 184 weight class.
West Virginia with a big lead on Kent State in their first home duel of the season on ESPN+.